Well, the evening has raced through, but there are a few things I, 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 sh I should flag uh, because they are seminal to uh, both their work and, and certainly of uh, Dr. Bhavnani is, and, and, and I think that Dr. Bijdani sitting here has been a pioneer in that uh, field himself, is really the bringing together, the collaboration, the partnership between, uh, all, well, terrible word, alternative approaches to healing and modern medicine. And the integration of that in a non-competitive manner with, with great complementarity. Uh, I was first uh, exposed to this by, uh, you know, if, if, if those of you who are interested, is the work of John kabat -Zinn at the Massachusetts General Hospital uh, on uh, mindfulness stress redu reduction, where patients who the medical system had given up on because there was no solution uh, went to John kabat -Zinn. And uh, he was using what were secular principles, but which we now know uh, draw from Eastern traditions and, and, and Buddhist ideas. And I think that uh, uh, the, the, the work that is happening with uh, uh, Dr. Bhagavadani and Dr. Biaji at, uh, in, in Pondicherry uh, is taking that principle much further and with uh, deep research an actual practice and uh, I, I, I can't but uh, ask him one final question because I was told that he used salutogenesis as a phrase because he wanted us to ask what does it mean <laughs> and I don't know how many of you really know what it means so that was a very clever ploy to get people to wonder what they were doing so what is it? Recently, we were visited by the Romanian ambassador. And so she came to Pondicherry and she came to our university. And when she came to our, because we are like the, you know, when people come to your house, you show them your doll set. So we are the doll set of our university. So any visitor who comes will be given a tour of ISCM. And the moment she saw that, she said, what is this salutogenesis? Does it mean sun salutation? <laughs> uh, and she, she's a yoga practitioner who has promised to come back because she loved our work. Salutogenesis is a term coined by Aaron Antonovsky, a social scientist, which actually has given us a very beautiful phrase to start, you know, communication. So most of the time, if I were to come into an audience like this, I would say, how many of you have heard of pathogenesis? And quite a few people put their hands up. And then I say, how many have heard of salutogenesis? Most probably nobody puts their hands up. Because we have for too long focused on disease, patho. And so the genesis, which is the jananam, the birth of disease has been our focus, rather than the birth of wellness. So salutogenesis is all the factors that enable you to manifest wellness. And when we talk wellness, it is physical, physiological, psychological, sociological, maybe even financial, and most important, which we always forget, spiritual wellness. I just wanted to share two short anecdotes of the work we do. Because the moment you say alternative medicine, you create enemies. Because it is like, if you are in the room, I will not be there. It is either you or me. So then you go to the next evolution, which is complementary medicine, where it says you and me. So you or me became you and me, and integrative medicine is us. And that is what Professor Bijlani has done at Ames. Today, what we see in integrative medicine is the hard work he did. As a young researcher, his 10-day program that he would devise, where they watched videos, they listened to talks, they did practices, they had dietetics. That is the comprehensive approach of yoga chikitsa, not just asanas chikitsa. So by taking this into our hospital, we are actually following what WHO calls TCI medicine, traditional, complementary and integrative medicine. And two examples, there was a patient of psoriasis, which you know is a skin condition, and we know that there is, along with psychoneuroimmunology and psychoneuroendocrinology, a new term, psychodermatology. 
And we know that skin conditions flare up whenever you are stressed. So this patient was not responsive to medical treatment. They were giving, the dermatology doctors were treating her, she was not responding. And they kept on changing the drug and trying so many things. And one day she just became so irritated, she asked one of the young doctors, can't you give me something else? And yoga department is next door to dermatology in those days. So they said, why don't you go to yoga? That is how it came. The referral wasn't like, maybe yoga will help. Just get rid of the person, go to yoga. She came for the yoga and two weeks later became responsive to the medication. Now see what, we, what has happened by combining yoga with modern medicine. A drug-resistant psoriasis patient becomes drug-responsive. So yoga is not a threat to modern medicine. It is an able ally. And this is the message we give. Another work we did, published in Indian Journal of Psychiatry, was on depression, adding yoga as an adjuvant therapy. And what happens is at the end, you give medicine, depression comes down. You add yoga with the medicine, depression comes down a bit more, which is okay. But what we found on sub-analysis is the patients who had depression often also have anxiety. And that anxiety required another drug Whereas those who were getting the yoga, the anxiety also came down. So you were managing depression and the anxiety was also getting managed without adding another drug. Now why do people stop medication in chronic conditions? Two reasons. One is cost. Because if you have to take that same medicine twice a day for your whole life, you will become a pauper. Very simple. So people stop the medication because of cost. The second, side effects. You ask any patient, why did you stop the treatment? Side effect or cost? Now if you can add yoga, which is non-pharmacological treatment, that reduces stress, enables the relaxation response, which facilitates what is today being increasingly called the healing response. You facilitate the healing, you can actually reduce the drug. When you reduce the drug, I am not saying even go off the drug, I am even saying reduce the drug. The moment you reduce the drug, you are dealing with much less side effects and much more cost effective healing modality. So this integration of yoga with modern medicine is a godsend both for the patients and for our healthcare system. Thank you. We'll have to have another discussion another day on mind-body medicine. Uh